Good morning all, uh, welcome back. Uh, we're out again hunting, this time at Saltwick Bay, uh, an old classic. Uh, we're out very early, yeah, so if you have a look down there you'll see that a lot of the tide is still cut off by uh, the waves, uh, especially as the waves are quite large at the minute. Uh, but I thought I'd come down early uh, and try and take advantage of the fact that uh, there's thunderstorms this afternoon. So whilst the weather is good, we will get out and see how fast we can get down and around. Uh, it looks like it might still be a little bit of time before we can get around the headland here. Uh, but that's the goal, is to get around there and explore the beach before it gets uh, too busy uh, and before the rain and thunder that's forecast shows up. Uh, people have had a few good finds that I've seen on the Facebook groups from this area recently so hopefully we can continue that trend uh, and I'll be back with you when I am. Something I always kind of forget when I'm here is that you can find dinosaur footprints. And I'm pretty sure that's what that is. That's like a little theropod truck. Uh, it's worth remembering the decks at Saltwick tend to split pretty badly. Uh, not really what I'm here for but I'm picking up some nodules as I go. Uh, just showing off that split badly but there's some other shells in amongst the, the remains. Uh, I'm a little bit cut off at the minute by the tide uh, in this little bay so I'm going to have a look through some of these pebbles and shingles and see what we can find. You never know, might find another dinosaur footprint. I barely got very far, the beach is just around there so uh, yeah. And wouldn't you know I think I got a second dinosaur footprint. So this one is less clear than the first one but we've got a toe there what looks like a claw there, and then if you follow down there's actually a wearing into the sediment here. It's got an unusual cap on top of it, uh, which this bit here is obscuring what I think to be the dinosaur footprint underneath. Uh, but I think that's probably worth being able to take home. Uh, I might see if I can split some of the underlayers off it. If you want to know if you've got something that is a dinosaur track or a burrow, uh, it's not always a clear-cut answer, but something to look out for is the disturbing of your layers. So you might be able to see there's a nice clean layer here that comes across, it's fairly straight. But over here, it all depresses into a weird uh, drop here. And this would be something that would be worth looking at to see if this is a footprint. There isn't anything on the top side that's clear, uh, but underneath this, underneath this section there may well be uh, a footprint because you can see all of that sediment's been pushed down. Uh, and it's stayed like that. So you basically get a divot as the toe comes down or the foot comes down, leaves that mark. Uh, so that's one of the good ways to tell when it comes to looking for footprints. Uh, so I've cleared around the first set of falls. This area is usually heavily picked, although uh, this whole section of cliff just here has been coming away quite drastically by the looks of it. Uh, but at the top, those yellowy bands that might be a bit tough to see with the, the shade on them at the minute, that's all the sandstones which the, uh, the plants and uh, dinosaur footprints come out of in this area. Some of the boulders that have come down are obviously very, very full of plant material, all of this black stuff and all of these blocks is actually plant remains. Uh, and some of them are quite nice. So you can see here uh, the lines coming down the length of the tree. This is probably getting close uh, to being jet, although it's not well consolidated. Uh, there's some other big seams of it in here. Pop the fossil if you can. Right there. Little deck. Hello, bottom edge is gone. Uh, so we will leave that one on the beach. As you can see I've been splitting some nodules, usual luck with the dax exploded. That's a bit of a shame because that was a really big chunk of uh, lobster claw by the looks of it. So you've got one edge of one of them here, I think the top edge of the other one on that side. But it's uh, come apart in a way that I don't think you can go back together. Uh, that's a shame. But what we did get is a beauty of a split. A lovely little pseudo. Uh, and these are different other ones that you find at Ravenscar. Uh, so that might be the nicest one I've got from uh, outside of Raven's car area. Beautiful. Uh, you would think I'd start learning if I'm going to hit nodules here, they're pretty much just going to be exploded decks. Uh, but occasionally you get things like this. This is again a lobster. Uh, body I think is about here. You've got some legs that have come off and exploded. I think this might be one of the claws up here. Uh, and you can see bits of on the other side. 
Uh, sadly it's exploded straight through the middle and I'm not sure that's worth trying to even sit back together. So we'll just have to keep looking, see if we can find a better one. Clearly was a beauty of an ammonite in there, uh, all the way around and even down to the middle, uh, but can't see where the bits have gone, so presumably someone's picked it up. Just seen this left on a rock, someone's had a bit of a heartbreaker of a hildy, uh, so you can see part of it here, part of it here, but it's just not well preserved, so it's basically split straight through all the chambers, which is a shame. Uh, so we're at the top of uh, the steps at Saltwick now, uh, just about to head back to the car and thought I'd catch my breath. Uh, the steps aren't too bad compared to some of the sites, but two sandstone blocks, the nice uh, pseudo, it's, uh, it's a bit of a heavy bag, uh, but I can't complain, it's been a good day fossil hunting. Uh, right into the fossil hunt, the Yorkshire fossil hunter as well, out on the beach mark with a little group. Uh, there's going to be a new video out on Sunday, this time with my Lytosaurus, the before and after of that. Uh, well worth a watch, it's a beautiful specimen, uh, and the 3D scans as always. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, press the bell, make sure you get the notifications. Uh, helps the channel, but also make sure that you don't miss any videos. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all soon.